Hi my beautiful family and welcome to now do my videos. Well, I'm here today to try all of the products that my friend Valerie sent to me in the box swap. If you missed that video, I'm going to put the card up here and also link down below so you can watch it after watching this video. But I am going to put everything on test, try everything that she sent me. There is plenty of products, so this video is going to be along. If you're interested to see what I think about them, what products I'm going to use, then please keep on watching. Okay, guys, so if you missed me and Valerie, we do box swap two times a year. We do it every March when it's her birthday and also every September when it's my birthday. Usually we write each other um, wish list where we put the products we want to try out, the products that we maybe used before but still want them again, or products we are curious about and really want to try it out. So we pick a couple of products from the wish list to each other, but also put other products that we think uh, we are going to like or we think that we want to try out. So it's kind of a mix. You never know what you're going to get, which is a big surprise. And I loved every single box. So in this box, I got three different masks and I thought that I would use one of these today. I think I want to go with the green one today. So it says here, uh, clean and dry skin, apply toner if desired, tear off eyebrow cream packed and liber uh, liberally apply cream onto both eyebrows. So I'm going to do that and it's this one up here. I just washed my hair and my face is very clean. So eyebrow cream, why do we have an eyebrow cream? I've never seen a face mask where you need to use an eyebrow cream. So let's squeeze that. Oh, it, oh, it smells very nice. Oh, this scent kind of reminds me of childhood. Peel, clean, wrap off of mask, but the white one still needs to be achieved to the mask. So what does that mean? I have no idea. Okay. Looks like this. Oh. Maybe to do this is the best way to do this uh, in the bathroom. So you peel off this clear. This is messy. Okay, not thought about this properly. And then you apply the mask. Ooh, that feels nice. Okay. <laughs> And then you peel off the white. No, but the green goes with it. Wait. This one should stay on my face. So let's press the, this one. Okay. Oh, it feels really, really good on the skin. I'm going to leave this on for a while. I go, go, I'll go away and play my game and then I'll be back. Mm. I do want to leave this on because it feels good. So I'm going to go and do, play some game and then I'll be back in like 40 minutes. Okay, so I should leave this on for 40-50 minutes and then I should take it off and wash my face with warm, warm, cold, no? Warm water. So I'll do that. This is gonna water me a little bit. It's too close to my eye. Okay, so I'm going to go and I'll be back in 40 minutes, but like a second to you. So see you soon. Hi guys, I'm back now. I understood why you need the eyebrow gel or what it's called. It's like a peel of mask, dries down and my face feels soft. So it feels a little bit dry. So I'm going to moisturize it a little bit, just a little bit. So 
Uh, but I did like the mask a lot. Can't wait to try the other two. Just usually like to have like a moisturizer after washing the mask off. And if I didn't have the gel, it would peel off my eyebrows. Okay, so let's see. We have this matte primer a setting spray. So I'm going to use that as a <laughs> base, but also as setting spray. Mm. Oh, it smells nice. Uh, this is creme. Um, I think I pronounced it right. I'm not really sure. It says um, envelop skin in a lightweight formula that primes and sets makeup without clogging pores. Matte finish leaves skin silky and smooth. So it feels very nice on the skin and I like the sprayer. So let's go to the primer. And I did get this uh, Joa Pore the active pore minimizing and magnifying primer. I saw Valerie use this and I really, really wanted it. So it's like this jelly primer. I'm going to use that. Oh, it has a interesting scent. It feels like a, what is called the what it's called, the silk primer or something like that. It feels very nice on the skin, the primer. And I'm going to let this sit while it sits. I'm actually going to prime my eyes. And for the eyes, I did get the creme. It's about prime crease-free eye primer that it says locks shadows for 12 plus hours. So I'm all about that. Give me as long as possible my eyeshadow on my eyelids. So let's go in with this. Ooh, look at the packaging. That's nice packaging. Yeah, it is like a clear primer. I do like to set my primers in place. So I'm going to do that too with this one. This one feels... Um, really light but it feels also like jelly feels nice cooling on the eyes definitely take down the puffiness do i have very hooded eyes and not a lot of puffiness on my eyes look it immediately made my eyes less puffy Ooh, i love that did you see that i have a lot of crease or puffiness on my eyes and this really made a big difference I don't know if it's the primer or what it is, but it feels very nice. I'm going to set it and I am going to open this CoverGirl Clean Fresh Healthy Look Pressed Powder. I'm going to use this one to set. So I'm just going to use... I'm going to use the eyeshadow palette that I got from, a, from Valerie. Now, this one broke and I tried to save the shade that's darker, the shade here, but I actually couldn't save it. It was everywhere and I tried to clean the rest of the shade so I can use them today. And I think I did a nice job. This is the Milani 120 Outlaw Olive, most watered, and I really like the color steam, but I'm going to go in with the lightest just to create it like a base. Unfortunately, this green that broke was very nice deep green that I love, but unfortunately it was everywhere and I couldn't save it at all. So I'm going to go in and use this brown shade to dark up the edge a little bit. We're just going to create a nice basic eye look. Ooh, this is blending nice though. I wish I had that green, but... Okay, and I'm going to go with my finger and I'm going to go in with this shade here. Just go on the edge here. It's a really nice shade. I like it a lot. And I'm going to go and use another finger with the gold shade. It's like gold green. 
there is some fallout but we are going to clean it it's a very nice palette i wish i had the green let's see if we can just dip in where the green was and maybe we can use what we have oh, that's nice we're going to go in with the foundation and i don't know i got th three foundation two foundations and i also got the cover girl clean matte bb cream for oily skin and i really want to try this i'm going to go in with this one today because i haven't tried this before and i'm kind of curious so this is in shade 530 light medium uh, i opened it and then shake it well, so i'm going to put some on the sponge because i do want to try it has an interesting scent i want to try it i haven't tried bb cream from covergirl before and i do use the sponge which will give me less coverage but i just want to try it out it feels very nice and it does cover a bit oh i really like how it looks oh that's nice flawless i don't know if it's the primer or the bb cream but my skin looks very nice and smooth this looks very nice it smoothed my skin perfectly it gave me some coverage but still looks very like my skin and i really really like it i really like it and my face looks very smooth i don't know if it's the primer or if it's the bb cream but this looks so good on my skin it looks like my skin it looks like i don't have anything on though it Maybe it's on camera because it's slightly darker than my skin tone, but it looks very, very nice. I'm impressed. Very impressed. I do want to go in with the... I did got the LA Girl Velvet Bronzer Contour Stick. So I'm going to use this as a bronzer. I love playing with new makeup and I love playing with makeup that Valerie gets for me in the box swap. Looks to be a very nice shade. It blends very nice into the skin. Doesn't need a lot of effort at all. So it looks to be very nice. It gives me that nice soft bronzy look. Mm -hmm. Not bad at all. I do like it. I do feel like I need a concealer, so let's go in with the concealer. And I got the Joa Truly Yours Dark Circle Concealer, and I really hope to get this. This is in shade 20. Nice applicator, kind of interesting. Uh, it's very pink. So I think it will work. yes it works though i do prefer on my skin tone i'm neutral but i do prefer like pinkier tone i don't know why i uh, feel like it makes everything look much better i also use use before the huda beauty setting powder that's more pink kind of under the eyes and it worked beautifully kind of like this a lot oh i love this concealer I love the shade, I'm liking the primer and I'm liking the BB cream, the concealer I love. It doesn't look heavy, it doesn't look dry. I like it. But I want to go and try the powder under my eyes. I hope it won't make everything look too yellow, but let's see. I do like this powder under the eyes. I'm going to go and open the airspun powder. This was definitely on my wish list because I really like this powder. I had it before and it's one of the best. I don't use this one though, but it's one of the best setting powders that I've used. And I think I had a little bit left of mine that I need to, I had to throw a, away because it was like six years old and we don't need that old powder 
I think everybody should have this powder in their collection. I want to use bronzer just to bronze a little bit more, deep up my bronzer a little bit more, but I'm going to go and use this Chocolate Soleil from Too Faced that Valerie got for me last time in our box swap. And I'm going to go in with that, so it is from Valerie. I love bronzy look. Bronzer is my weakness. I just go strong with my bronzer and I like that look. So, Okay, looking good, looking good, looking very perfect. I am going to go and use the blush and the blush that I got from Valerie is T Rose number 8 from Milani Cosmetics. And I haven't used these blushes before. I think my sister had or have some of the shades and she really likes it. I haven't tried it. So I like the packaging though. Okay, I'm going to go with Wet n Wild this blush, this brush. I don't know if it's the blush brush, but we're going to go in with that one. I love the rose shape. This shade is very nice. It does give me the rosy cheeks and it's blending beautifully. I'm just going to blend the edges a little bit more. And again guys, my face looks very smooth. Smooth. I didn't get any eyebrow product, so I am going to go in with my own and I'm going to go this old, it's too old, powder from Anastasia. I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. If you have, haven't seen Valerie trying my products, go to her channel because she is also going to use everything that I sent to her. And I think that I went this time in my box swap with full face of makeup. I think I had everything in there because that was my mission for this box swap to her, that I sent to her. Um, I hope she likes all of those products. No, I don't think I have the highlighter. The, no, she, don't think she sent me highlighter this time, but I am going to go in with Jacqueline Cosmetics and go in with my finger in this. Just to kind of look at that. Let's finish the eyes. I'm going to go in and use this palette again and I'm going to go with this brown shade to under my lower lash line. The lighter shade here. And it feels like it's light enough. I like this palette. I'm just sad about the shade that's missing right now but it is what it is. Okay, I am going to go in with the lipstick. Now she said, uh, I don't remember if it was 10 or more of these Jo Beauty lipsticks, but they look so beautiful and I'm very glad. I'm going to do a swatch video with all of the shades that I got, but I'm going to mix two shades today. And I'm going to use as a base the Hotter Than Hot, and then I'm going to in the center go in with Jomo. So cute. Look, there is a print of J in it, letter G. I have powder all over my mirror. These lipsticks are very soft. Creamy, not very soft that are too creamy and going everywhere, but so comfortable. Mm, I love this shade. So I'm going to go in the center with the other shade too. That's like shimmery. I know it looks like that. I know if it's going to look differently when we open it and use it, but it kind of looks to be a little bit more shimmery. Yes, it looks to be very bright and pink and shimmery. So let's go in with that one. Mm. Yes. 
kind of feels like a cute pink summery shade so cute this one and the other one that we used next to it i am going to swatch all of this beautiful beautiful feels very comfortable doesn't feel drying i've been wearing the red one that i tried in that video the whole day after filming that video and it felt very comfortable on the lips it didn't settle into my lines and it felt very nice so i'm kind of happy with the lipsticks too i am going to go in and curl my lashes because oh no we have eyeliner so i'm going to go in with milani eyeliner it has a nice tip This is a very nice eyeliner. I really like it. I think so far this is the one that it's very easy to use. It has this tip. It's not too hot. It's not too soft. And I have very hard time to do my eyeliner. So this has worked out very nice for me to create small uh, wings because I have very hooded eyes and kind of is very hard for me to create and i like it i like it a lot so far this has to be one of my favorite eyeliners with that kind of tip so let's go in this is my new tweezer man eyelash curler and i do enjoy it i love the rose gold and before we do use the eyeshadow i'm going to my eyeshadow before we go with mascara i'm going to set my face Mm. it has very nice soft scent not strong but fresh I'm silk it feels like silk on the skin I do like to go in and with the sponge oh my god my face looks flawless I do have fallout from the eyeshadow but I always have fallout from the eyeshadow now when it comes to mascara she was really good friend and sending me a couple of mascaras i have five mas different mascaras here that i really had a hard time to choose but let's go with the la girl i'm going to use all of these but let's go with the la girl it kind of got me into this fall falsies what it's called fall lash look volume boosting extend lash water resistant flexible silicone fiber mascara um, I hope and I'll try this tomorrow wear it all day but I hope it won't be the one that kind of flakes because usually I do have very hooded oil eyelids so many of the mascaras transfer on my low lash line and when it says fiber it flakes but I hope it, this won't do that I haven't seen this around a lot of packaging there interesting brush let's go in okay this is one coat and I do like it so far this is one coat now it's kind of hard to see because I do have the eyeliner but it feels comfortable let's go in with a second coat I always use at least two coats Oh no, oh no, I poked myself. Well, it didn't go the way I wanted. Okay, so I did succeed to clean it up. Now, this is how it looks. I do have also falsies that she sent to me and also I do have the eyelash glue, but I won't go in with it now because it is 10, 30 p.m. and I am going to let me just show you 10 30 p.m and i'm going to remove this makeup soon so uh, i just wanted to play with my makeup and my hair is still a little bit wet but this is how it looks i love how my skin looks i really like all of the products now there are plenty of lipsticks to play with there are a couple of two more of the face masks she also sent to me 
couple of these native deodorants. Now I've been using it since she got since I got the package and I love it. <laughs> My sister got also a gift from Valerie and it was two of the deodorants and also also two lipsticks and she loves them very very much now the deodorant that i got i had to give two to my husband he was begging me to give it to him and he also likes them a lot so when i empty these i would definitely put them in uh, on my wish list again because i do like it so far i've been liking every single pro product now i have plenty of products to play with more and try out um, I really like the BB cream now I do have two of the mask uh, foundations that I got from Valerie I do have the, uh, this one LA Girl Coverage HD High Definition that I've used before and I really like this foundation but I also got the Trouble Matte Made, Made foundation from Caragol. This is, uh, she said that she did send a little bit deeper shade for me to play with, but also maybe use to deep up the other lighter shades that I have or use it as a bronzer. So I will definitely do that. Um, this one is in, I know in what shade this other one is, fair. Uh, this one is favorite. Maybe I, I can mix both of these together. That, that will be in another video, definitely. But so far, so good. I really like it. I do like the mascara, though. I do like it a lot. Now, it was easy to remove. I didn't le left it to dry down completely before I removed, but it still looks very nice. The primer, I really like. I really like the primer a lot. It smoothed my skin. It made everything go on very nice. I also really like the BB cream. It went on beautifully and also made my skin look flawless. And it didn't look like makeup at all. Now, I will definitely play with it more and see if it will keep my oils in control, but so far I'm liking it. I'm really surprised how much I like the eyeshadow primer. Now, it went on beautifully on top, but I don't know if it's the palette. I don't remember trying these palettes from Milani, but everything blended beautifully on top of this eyeshadow primer. So I'm going to experiment a little bit more with these. I do like the... Uh, makeup look that I created with this palette. The blush is beautiful. Everything is beautiful. The powder I just love everything she sent to me and I Really, really wish that you will go to her channel and check her video out She also has the unboxing but also try the full face using the product that I sent to her So go over to her channel send her some love Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell like this video And I hope I see you in my next video I love y'all. Bye.